Welcome back everyone, I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and we are here at the Overclocking World Championship Las Vegas 2017. This is the first overclocking competition of the season. They will be having 10 overclocking competitions this year at least uh, for the live competition like we are having here today. We just finished the two semi-finals. Uh, the second one was featuring um, Dogna from Japan, an outsider of this uh, of this extreme overclocking league, and uh, that was against Lucky Noob, a well-known and famous overclocker that is that lives in Indonesia. Um, I'm gonna let you guys with our two analysis, Tullius and Bilzoid, that will be able to discuss all what happened during that match and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them uh, we're gonna do that for a good 20 25 minutes and then we're gonna move on to the bronze final that would be featuring Dogna that just lost the second semi-final against Pipochtes that lost the first semi-final guys back to you hey guys you're live now <laughs> wow that was that was such a that was a hectic match, that was a really hectic match. But yep. well, I, I I love the way that even Dogna that is I mean he's an outsider like really I mean he's ranked like seven hundred something on HW, but this is quite huge. I mean being at this level here is quite an achievement already. Very yeah, true. but his, his ranking doesn't really like. Uh... Because what you have to understand about the hardware bot rankings, they also take into account how many submissions you have. Not necessarily, like, you know, you need to have a lot of good, but you need to still have, a, like, you need to have good submissions, but there still needs to be a lot of them to get a good good ranking. And he has some really strong submissions on Skylake. So it's not like he doesn't know what he's doing on mainstream Intel platforms, even if he oh, yeah. hasn't benched that much stuff overall. Um, yeah, so, I mean, and but, but then again, not... Lucky Noob... L Lucky Noob is just like, <laughs> he's been around for ages and ages and yep. ages. He's ranked number 21 in the world, you know, number 21 in the whole world. He has 1.5 1 thousand points on Hardware Ball. So he has a lot of experience and, you know, I hate to say it, but it was kind of predictable. You know? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, the... The man's a machine. He's just, he's been through so Especially many Especially at these 1.1, 1. 1, yeah, 1v1 yeah, events. Because yeah. he's been to, I think he's been to the most 1v1 events of anybody so far. Um, I th yeah, I, think I guess in the last one the year. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I think so. And so he just has a ton of experience just dealing with that 30 minute time limit. Because yeah. as we saw right at the start of the match, it was score, so score, 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 score. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> 20. Four minutes down, he had his he had his first run. Four minutes in, that was yep. that's that's how quick he is. And I mean, literally in the in literally in the first seven minutes, he had five runs. That's that's quick. That's seriously quick. And that's just I mean, it shows. It's just showing, you know, just his training. I guess. I mean, he's been doing this for a long time, like you were saying. But yeah, this 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 just shows his training. Um, he's he's a machine. He operates like a machine. But what was really interesting was that Dogna wasn't um, wasn't that that far off either because he had he he had his first run at the twenties. Well, about eight minutes down, twenty two minutes remaining. So he was yeah he wasn't that slow either, and um, he had quite a few consistent runs. The interesting bit that I found was that by the fourth run, literally by the fourth run, um, Alva had hit almost 15,000. By his fifth run, he had hit 15,000. And his fourth run alone was almost 14,921, which was, um, well, that was already, already pretty high. That was as high. I mean, it's already higher than what, what, what Dogna got. So it's, it's, it's pretty spectacular what he pulled off in the first five minutes. Um, and then of course him, um, just carrying on just, 6.3, 6.4 gigahertz runs. At literally the 12 minute mark, he was already at 6.2, 6.3 gigahertz. So scaling, scaling quick. You know, he was, he knew what he was doing. He was pushing that system hard, literally. And yeah, it's, 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 it's just, you can just see the efficiency at work. And also his memory was maybe just quite a bit faster or wherever. Yeah, he was yeah getting... that, that's, that's unfortunate. We, we couldn't see both of their memory settings because Lucky True. Noob 
was significantly faster clock faster. for clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Which because in 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 three D Mark Eleven physics, that's almost certainly memory because their cache and their core clocks were roughly the same. And okay. clock for clock, Lucky Noom was, was leading. Faster. Yeah. 14,921 came up at 5.9 or 6 gigahertz. And at 6.2 gigahertz, um, Dogma still couldn't beat that. So that yeah. shows you something. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's quite a bit more efficient, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, and, and I think efficient. it's, I think, it, yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, you go. <laughs> I, I think I think it had I think it just had a lot to do with RAM, if you ask me. Um, not much else in it because the caches and the clocks were pretty similar. I yep. just think it was it was it, 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 it was the memory. Alba was just running his memory super tight. That's what I think yep. he was doing. Yeah. Yeah, and we actually saw Dog uh, Dogna try to tune his memory, but he was having massive issues massive just issues. trying to dial in just trying to dial in voltages. He kept getting. Yeah, his board wouldn't accept the values, or yeah, I know what issues he was. It was yeah, but I think that, that that would be the same for Lucky Noob. So I think he just Lucky Noob had the board figured out better on that because mm. he obviously yeah. wasn't, didn't have the same issue because they both are using the same motherboard. True. They should both same. be on the same BIOS revision, and if that's exactly. the case, then the like then, they should have yeah. the same. Oh well, I think we're having audio problems again. I do you believe this was the first time either of them were using these? Um, since they are brand new, and I haven't heard of this motherboard being available for anybody else yet. I don't think uh, it's available yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not even on Gigabyte's website anywhere. So true. Uh, true. It, it is probably the first time any anybody has sort of seen this motherboard in public and actually gotten a chance to use it outside of say gigabytes own R and D team. So Lucky Noob managing to figure out figure out how to deal with that board this fast is just yeah, well yeah. a testament Again, experience. To yeah. Years experience. and years of experience. Years of experience. Correct. And he's benched he's benched Gigabyte, he's benched MSI, he's benched just about everything un, under the sun. I mean even for uh, even for me, I, I have I'm pretty much an ASUS guy, but like whenever I ha I, I have benched Gigabyte and stuff, it's it's always a steep learning curve. And for somebody like him, it's just it comes to him so naturally. It's 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 quite it's quite unbelievable because this is just experience. It's nothing but pure experience here. That's that's what it is. And yeah, efficiency, just pure pure efficiency. Fourteen thousand nine twenty one at six gigahertz. That that was that was pretty shocking. And I and and I actually liked what he was trying right at the end. <laughs> just. Just going for it, 1.9. I mean, 1.85. That was that. Yeah, that yep. was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. cool. That, I mean, hey, it's done. You have it in the bag, but let's just push. So, I quite enjoyed. Yeah, that. And, and the other thing is, like, throughout the whole competition, you could see that Lucky Noob was still just giving a hundred percent. Like he knew he was ahead. He had to yeah. know he was yeah. way ahead, yeah. and he yeah. was still yeah. going like he was just second pushing, place, just pushing yeah. hard, really, really, it's and just, and. His he commitment on one v ones is just incredible it's, to see on stage, and it, it, it pays off. <laughs> it, it does, it does, it does. And like, I, he got stuck for a while. I mean, what I found interesting was he got stuck in the fifteen thousand three hundred point. He got stuck for a bit, and then he broke free. And he was he actually went faster at six point four than he did at six point five gigahertz. He was barely stable, and then he crashed, or he did manage one run, and then he crashed again at six point five gigahertz or six point four. But he. The run he got at 6.5, I think, was 15,300, and at 50, at 6.4, he got 15,600. So, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. There was, yeah. yeah, I remember that massive jump where he goes from like yeah. 1,500, uh, 15,300, and then he just has this 300 point jump straight to jump. the 15,600 because he finally figured out some some issue Something. he had with the system. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's the yeah. thing about a lot of CPU benchmarks. If you're on the very edge of stability, they can actually underperform. Uh, yeah. This is because the the operating system will try to correct errors for you very to some true. extent. Very, It'll try to true. compensate for a lot of stuff. And the only time you'll see like a blue screen or something is when the operating system just can't keep up. And right. it's, it's completely uh, messed up. 
uh, it's very noticeable on Cinebench. If you're running just outside of stability in terms of voltage, if you raise the voltage, the score will start to go up oh, as your stability sorry. improves. So that yeah. uh, that's very noticeable there for other benchmarks. Like Super Pi, you might get a not exact in round um, just because Super Pi is extremely <laughs> uh, sensitive about not being 100% stable. But 3D Mark and a lot of these other multi-core benchmarks, they'll just run, they're but they just won't yeah. run at full speed. Full speed, so, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and that's you lose efficiency when you're borderline with just borderline with the voltage is just borderline stable. You will lose efficiency, and just you, you usually either just reducing your frequency by 50 megahertz or like 100 megahertz, or just adding a little bit of more more voltage will take care of that. Yeah. Um, and then um, I I think yeah we've got audio issues again, um, but. Yeah, um, at the ten minute point, Alba was the only person to get a to get a run in. Um, after the ten minute point, after Alba's run, pretty much no one really got a run in, which was another interesting thing, because um, I think I think the problems from from either condensation or just having you know uh, incorrect values or whatever those problems started to kick in, but at the at at the 10-minute mark itself, literally at the at the 10-minute mark, uh, Alva had already got 15,618 at just 10 minutes left. So that was that was his fastest run. Uh, again, 6.4 gigahertz at 5.7 G on cache, if I'm not mistaken. That was yeah, his, yeah, that was his best run. Um, Dogna, on the other hand, 6 6.2 gigahertz. Um, he was, I I I actually I can. I can actually see from his scores, you know, like he took this, he kind of approached it in a very, you know, methodological manager uh, ma manner because he went, his scores literally went up by a hundred points every single run, and he got quite a few runs in. He got almost what, one, two, three, he got almost eleven runs in, eleven or twelve runs in, and sure enough, every run he was going faster, and he was being methodological, but yeah, but but um, he was still losing efficiency, so he like he would have. Yeah, he, he was losing efficiency, so even if he kept that up and kept scaling by 100 points every run, he was getting those 100 he, points by literally 100 megahertz on the megahertz. CPU. He would have had True. to run 7 gigahertz, seven, for Alba seven plus yeah, gigahertz yeah. to catch yeah. up to Lucky Noob, unless he went into the... Which he did try, he went into the BIOS and tried to tweak his memory settings, but he just couldn't get it working to the, the, to, to the point that he could actually pump out another score. Yeah, So and like... I, I, you, what I found Im what I found impressive and also interesting was that about at, like when there were about twelve or thirteen minutes left, Alva went in the BIOS, set up his profile. You know, he got all that he got all that done, and then after that, that's when his run started coming because he crashed, he would restart, he'd go back, and he was quick. He was really really quick. Like his his eighth, ninth, and tenth run were done in the span of literally two and a half minutes. That was. Yeah. I that mean, was... he was complaining about the mouse not keeping up with him during the <laughs> match. <laughs> like, so, this mouse won't apply settings fast enough. So and... That was very impressive. I mean, uh, and of course, again, this comes from experience because he had that profile dialed in. He was checking temperatures. He, he you know, he set it up and yeah, he just... He, just he actually managed it. to pull all the way to positive. And pull back down. Yeah. And that was at the five minute mark. Adjusting. That was at the five minute mark. He was showing positive temperatures. Just five minutes left, and he managed yep. to pull back down. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't manage to get a score in because the system crashed again. But yeah. And that's when <laughs> I mean, he went. Still, he went for it. Yeah, he went for it. <laughs> I mean, it was the end of the match. I mean, the only risk there was is if he killed his CPU with that 1.95 volt burst. If his CPU went down there, it would have been a disqualification. disqualification. I do believe. Yeah, which yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's like you know, 1.95 volts. It won't. It generally won't kill the CPU instantly. But I instantly. don't know if I would want to risk it when I already know I'm gonna win. That's true. That's true. But, that's true. you know. But gotta have more. Know. Yeah. <laughs> gotta have more score. <laughs> that's push all harder. it's ever been about. <laughs> that's exactly. I mean, you push and you push. Uh, that's it. Push harder. Yep. And that's again. It's the mark of a champion because he's not giving up until the very last minute. If that run would have gone, he would have probably yeah, he would have probably gone even faster. So he wasn't giving up. He was saying, "Well, if it goes, it goes. Let's do it." Yeah. 
So uh, I think we'll take some questions some for questions. the from yeah. the chat. So for all of you watching, ask away. Um, we will answer pretty much anything about Caleb e. Lake since KB Lake is now released. Um, so somebody asked about BDI. We have no mem no idea what memory anybody was running today. Um, yeah. 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 I I think it's all pretty much BDI. I don't think they were. No? I I mean we we don't know what they're running. I, I yeah, we haven't yeah, been told yeah. and I think the highest I saw on either of their BIOS screens was like 3466. 3, true, true. Yeah, with 18 18 18 timings which is that's not BDI. Yeah. That's, I mean on like X99 maybe maybe BDI but this is Z270. Not that's even, not Yeah, not even there, not even there because I could be it's, could be just could be early days with the BIOS. Could be. Could, could be. be. Yeah, it could be the BIOS be acting up and not liking the memory sticks. It could yeah. also be Micron ICs for. Good. Okay. <laughs> though Micron ICs, like some of them, will actually time properly at very low voltages. Like I have a kit here that does 13 on 3000, CL13 wow. 3000. So, uh, and it does actually CL11 at 2800, which is just. You know, is, but, yeah, that's pretty cool. But but it's like, yeah, it definitely wasn't a B die kit because those frequencies and, and those timings, it was just too slow and too loose. Hmm. Yeah, it, that's actually something that I'd actually like to know whether it was whether it was B die or whether it was you know something. Um, but yeah, uh, I would um, also like to get a quick okay, look I'm at back. the memory tabs. I would have liked yep, to get a quick my, look at the memory Skype tab. Is still stable. Oh. <laughs> my Skype is still very stable. <laughs> um, yeah, somebody noticed on the chat. It just keeps happening to me. It's the webcam. Like, it, it, if I turn on the webcam, it just kills the kills the audio. That's really strange. Dan Cop says 60 should be 19k on 3D Mark 11 in the chat. <laughs> we also have no idea what GPU they were running. And uh, like yeah. from what I saw, it looks like it might be a 710, like a GT 710. Yeah, yeah, yeah 710. It's a passive. Something. Yeah, it's a yeah. completely passive GPU. Passive you know what? I'll, just for fun, I'll I'll go. I'll just hardware bought database the 710. We'll see what kind of kind of physics score it, it's got in highest. I don't think anybody would actually seriously try to run a high physics. Re like, yeah. That, that's the biggest problem. There's not a separate category for 3D Mark 11 physics, even though it is a competition, you know, competition benchmark that we see quite often. So actually, no, there is a 3D Mark physics. And yeah, a GT710 can get 17K apparently. At 5 gig. Oh, that's tweaked Windows 7. Yeah, so that, yeah. That's the other thing. Windows 10 sucks at physics. At least from my experience, it's terrible for physics. 3D Mark Physics, regardless of version, it just horrific scores. Uh, for, like, for Firestrike, I know for a fact, Windows 7 is at least 1,000 points ahead of 10. At true, least. True, true, true. Just clock for clock, 1,000 points. Clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, that's a given. That's for sure. But it, yeah, it definitely looks like they were in the ballpark. They were, they were in the ballpark. I mean, um, but then again, the numbers that we're looking at, seventeen thousand for three D Mark. Um, yeah, I mean that those those were those with like a really fast setup. I mean, in terms of CPU or it's a it's actually a five it's a five gigahertz sixty seven hundred K, but with damn, <laughs> but the memory is running forty one thirty three. Yeah, there you go. With 12, 12, 12, 28 timing. Ah, so, there, yeah, there it's you go. pretty so, much maxed out VDI with a 5 gigahertz 6700K on a very, you know, a stripped down version of 7. So, there you, know, you go. So, that actually kind of confirms our theory that, that Alva was probably just running his memory tighter, a hell of yeah. a lot tighter. Yeah. 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 It's, it's very much memory, and Windows also plays a big role in this. So, that that's why, relatively speaking, the scores in the right high. Yeah. I yeah. mean, if you if if you just give them a thousand points for Windows Seven, that's almost sixteen and a half thousand. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's almost 17k. And then if we gave them, I don't know, another thousand points or two thousand points for not terrible memory clocks, <laughs> yeah. it would it would actually like sort of make sense for a KB like yes. CPU. But the thing is, True. like. 3466 1818 timings is just terrible. That's, yeah. Like that that was that was like X99 eight like year like 2 years ago you could probably get that. I, like Oof. X99 launch you could get it on two channels running. Not four. Yeah. Two channels you could probably get that to actually run. Yeah, I mean and and and, and honestly there were some really nice sticks because when X99 launched, I got the G-Skill um, 3000 C15 MFR kits. And those things would run 3400 C15 1.5 volt quad channel all day long, happy as pie. So, and that was only 1.55 volts. So, yeah, it was, yeah, this is not even early X99. That was yeah, pretty loose. Just, yeah. Yeah. Horrific memory settings get you horrific scores. <laughs> what, what, what more is there to say? <laughs> I'm actually surprised there is a 3D Mark 11 ranking, like a proper one on Hardware Bot. Nice. So that's nice for 3D Mark 11 physics, at least. There's no points for it, but there is a ranking. And the record for a 6700K is, yeah, 19,000. So. Well, memory plays a big role. OS plays a big role. And yeah, it's like everybody complaining on the chat that the scores are too low. It's it's Windows 10 with terrible memory. Get a life. <laughs> yeah, it's just, if you, I, if you it's think you could do memory. better, if you think you could it, do better, get 3466 memory and show us how you can do better. <laughs> It's just got to be loose. That's 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 yeah. that's that's what it is. It's just got to be horribly loose, because I'm sure 3466 says something like CL12. Yeah, even if it was a proper like getting proper timings, then it would have scored better. Which, yeah. Which you know it could be bad memory ICs. It could just be bad motherboard BIOS as of right now, because this is the first time it's, this motherboard is in the wild. Yeah, it's early days. It yeah. is early days. Yeah, this is the first time I'm actually hearing of this motherboard. There was this. this is, I didn't even know this. I mean, I knew it would exist just because yeah, Gigabyte yeah. always makes an always SOC. Makes an SOC. But this is but... the first time we are hearing about an SOC for Z270. Yeah, this, this is like yeah. there is going to be an SOC. Here, here's an yeah, SOC. It it's pretty much yeah. SO, like yeah, it's an announcement of the board. It's not a launch. You can't buy it, as far as I know. It's not no. even on Gigabyte's website right now. So it pretty much only exists here. So you're actually kind of getting an exclusive preview here. With this event. Hmm. So they're still complaining about the scores. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I have no idea. I have. Me. Uh, Dan Cop says maybe they bench without HD. No, I don't think so. Wish we could like go through or like a replay and Me check too. like how many we can. That would be lovely. That would be lovely. That would be lovely. But then again, I mean, yeah, that maybe, would, that, maybe that, something we can complain about for the future <laughs> to get uh, replay capabilities for analysts to go like, yeah, and here you can see exactly what settings you were, he was running. So just like just like our sports guys. Here we go. Re action replay. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. That, that would be nice. Um, hmm. So, yeah, if anybody could have any questions other than complaining about the score, that would be great. <laughs> um, and what else? Oh, yeah. So... The best part I thought was the way the round finished. Classic. It was, you know, just your proper, proper blue screen. I don't think that is a better way to end a round with, you know, rather than a blue screen. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was just perfect. That's it. Game over. That's how we're done. But 6.5 gigahertz, if it would have run, 
I, I mean, I honestly think Alba would have probably hit 16 k maybe, maybe fifteen point nine. Yeah. Yeah, he, he could have probably worked his way up to that. Yeah, that does. So. Any questions? They're still discussing 3D Mark scores. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't get over it. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a GD. It does look like it's a GD710 or a 720, though. Yeah, that's that's definitely what they were using. Because I don't think you get any other cards as passive cards. It's got to be one no, of them. You can get the GT210, the GT720, 710, 730, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I think I'm yeah no sure. I saw Asus Asus definitely has a passive 730 it has like a huge passive heatsink on it oh yeah 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 you're dead right you're dead right I yes you're actually dead right all there right guys yeah you're back <laughs> yeah Hold on. um we're gonna take a short break and uh, do the timer before we can uh, move to the next matches thank you very much for uh, all the q a and question question and everything for the live chat uh you guys on the live chat if you still have any questions don't hesitate to ask us uh we will be there uh, all day to answer your questions and uh on the stage right now the two next overclocker are preparing for their next match that will be mp bush test against dogna here. So we'll just uh, do a short countdown and uh, find you back after for the beginning of that match. Enjoy! Mm -hmm. 